I'll crush you like the vermin you are. Hurry! Dogs of the hard <laughs> court, are you? Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades. Hello everyone, this is the Seeker of Grace. In this guide, I will be teaching you how to beat Zhong Liang, General of Man. This guide is intended for players who are struggling to fight this boss and find themselves unable to make progress in their journey or simply wish to beat him quickly. And if you find this guide useful, please click on the like and subscribe buttons. Let's proceed with the guide proper. An optimal solution I have discovered to beating Zhong Liang involves the application of two techniques. The first is deflect counterattacks. The second is long-ranged wizardry spells such as Lightning Bolt. The fight against Zhong Liang has two phases. Phase 1 begins with him slamming his hammer into the ground. Running into that attack and deflecting it can help you charge your spirit gauge. Of course, that step is optional. The next step I'm about to describe, however, is important to note. After approaching him, attack him repeatedly with normal attacks. Hitting him interrupts any and every one of his normal attacks. There is a rather long recovery time after performing a chain of normal attacks. To close the gap created by said recovery time, use Deflect Counter Attack to change to your second weapon, then continue on the offensive with normal attacks. Keep repeating this cycle of normal attacks and Deflect Counter Attacks. If done properly, it should stop him from performing most of his actions. To be clear, there are still some actions he can take in that situation. The one you have to be particularly wary of is his spirit attacks. A telltale sign that he's about to perform a spirit attack is that his whole body glows red. Such attacks cannot be interrupted, hence be prepared to deflect them. Deflect counter attacks have long animations and short windows for deflecting attacks, so be careful not to use them while he is charging a spirit attack. Repeat this process until Zhong Liang is defeated and transitions to Phase 2. Phase 2 has you fight against a demonized Zhang Liang. In this form, he no longer blocks or dodges attacks, but he does not flinch when hit. That means your normal attacks will not interrupt any of his attacks. Hence, while fighting against demonized Zhang Liang, it's safer to attack him from a distance just outside his reach. In such situations, sprinting may be better at avoiding attacks than deflecting or dodging, because it does not consume spirit gauge to perform. And while staying out of his reach, use long-ranged wizardry spells to attack him with minimal risk. If you have not learnt any wizardry spells, you can still attack him at close range during gaps between his attacks but always be on the lookout for his next attack. All that said, you will be mainly relying on spirit disruptions and fatal strikes to deal damage to him in phase 2. Specifically, you should look out for this spirit attack, where he pulls back his demonized arm, then stretches it out towards you. This is one of the easier attacks to deflect, and if successfully deflected, it causes spirit disruption to Zhang Liang almost immediately. Continue fighting cautiously against him until his life bar turns red. When it does, all you have to do is to summon your divine beast, and it will kill Zhang Liang instantly. An anti-climatic ending, if I do say so myself. If you found this video helpful and wish to see more of my guides and other content in Wolong, then please click on the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching.